Planning station is a silent station of 14 minutes duration in the NMC Ossine. This video, we will be giving some tips for successful completion of this station, along with examples of common problems and their nursing interventions. Previously, there was a self-care part to be completed, along with nursing interventions in the answer sheet given. Now this self-care part is removed from answer sheet, and you only need to write specific nursing interventions alone. The answer sheet pattern in planning station is as follows. First of all nursing problem need, then aim of care, re-evaluation time frame, nursing interventions, and then finally there will be space for writing your credentials and date. So let's see what you need to remember while attempting planning station. Many of you would have learnt about the nursing care plan format, which is nursing assessment, nursing diagnosis, nursing goal, nursing intervention and evaluation. That nursing problem was framed on NANDA diagnosis and all. But during your OSCE exam, nursing problem is worded in simple words. There is no need to use NANDA diagnosis or something similar. For example, nursing problem for a patient John experiencing abdominal pain due to hernia can be worded as Mr. John is experiencing abdominal pain due to abdominal hernia with a pain score of 8 out of 10. It is as simple as that. Aim of care should be worded in such a way that it should be specific and measurable. For example, Mr. John will verbalize relief of abdominal pain with a pain score between 2 to 3 out of 10 or less. Re-evaluation timeframe should be worded in three parts, which means first part is where you put the date on. For example, date today is 24th of January 2022, you will write today, 24th of January 2022. Second part is the time period. This can be variable according to condition of the patient. It can be every four hours, every 30 minutes in case of pain, and can be continuous in case of respiratory distress. Third and last part of evaluation timeframe statement is at the end of shift or if any clinical condition changes. So basically, first and third part of evaluation timeframe statement remains the same regardless of the problem, while middle part varies. Now we will go on to see how to write your nursing interventions. Imatarid is the acronym for nursing interventions regardless of the problem you have identified. Write, explain, monitor, assess, teach, administer, refer, instruct, and document one by one downwards in your answer paper and start completing the sentence later. Also, while you write Imatarid, don't forget to put your name, signature, and date in the specified column, as many people had to retake the exam just because they forgot to write their names or signature. Always use name of the patient instead of calling them as patient or client while writing interventions. Few interventions are always the same. First nursing intervention of all problems is explain plan of care to Mr. X or name and gain consent for all interventions. Also, second interventions is monitor and record patient's observations every as per new score and escalate according to policy. Please note that this intervention will change in case of neurological patient. Another intervention which can be used in almost all problems is administer prescribed medications to patient and monitor for their effectiveness after 30 minutes. Second last one is usually instructing the patient about use of call bell and to place within reach. Last intervention is document all aspects of care given to Mr. X or name. Now we will see some commonly written nursing problems and what you should be careful while writing those interventions. In case of any pain, you need to assess location, radiation and intensity using 0-10 pain scale, utilizing pain assessment tool. Teach alternative pain management, such as diversional activities, deep breathing exercises, and relaxation techniques. Administer prescribed medication and monitor their effectiveness after 30 minutes. Refer to pain management team as well. If the patient is for surgery, refer to surgical team. In case if anxiety is your identified problem, orient patient to immediate environment and offer self to show support, compassion and empathy. Encourage verbalization of feelings and concerns regarding the cause of anxiety. Teach anxiety reduction exercises, such as deep breathing exercises, positioning techniques and positive imagery. Administer prescribed medications and monitor for their effectiveness after 30 minutes. If low mood is the identified problem, assess and record patient's mental state by providing a PHQ-9 form for her to accomplish weekly and escalate as per policy. Teach diversional activities such as reading, music therapy or TV 
to help cope with feelings of low mood. Provide a safe and calm environment. Administer prescribed medications and monitor for effectiveness after 30 minutes. Encourage to verbalize feelings and concerns. Refer to mental health team upon consent as needed. Instruct to communicate with GP and district nursing team if symptoms persists or condition changes. If the problem identified is breathlessness, assess patient's breathing pattern and depth. Monitor for signs of respiratory distress, such as cyanosis and labored breathing. Teach patient about the use of deep breathing exercises and repositioning techniques for optimal lung expansion. Administer prescribed oxygen and medications and monitor for their effectiveness after 30 minutes. Refer to respiratory specialist nurse. If problem identified is reduced mobility or activity intolerance, assess patient's manifestations of activity intolerance, such as sob, weakness and fatigue. Provide a safe and clutter-free environment and importance of adequate footwear to mobilize safely. Assist patient with activities of daily living while avoiding dependency. Refer to physiotherapist and occupational therapist. If the problem identified is risk of infection after a surgical procedure, assess patient's wound for signs of infection, such as redness, pain swelling, pus and fever, teach patient about importance of proper hand washing and wound care. Administer prescribed medications and monitor for their effectiveness after 30 minutes. Refer to surgical team or tissue viability nurse as needed. In case of general deterioration and deemed end of life, assess for need of multi-faith chaplain services upon consent as needed. Provide the opportunity to practice his own spiritual belief. Administer prescribed medications and monitor for their effectiveness after 30 minutes. Refer to palliative care team upon consent as needed. Encourage to verbalize feelings and concerns. In case of risk of falls, assess falls risk utilizing a falls risk assessment tool and implement fall precautions as needed. Provide a safe and clutter-free environment and orient him to time, person and place belongings within reach. Provide proper non-slip socks for use when mobilizing and position bed to its lowest height. Refer to physiotherapy or occupational therapy for suitable ambulatory device. If problem identified is risk for malnutrition, then accomplish patient's malnutrition universal screening tool monthly, calculate BMI and must score and act as per guidelines. Provide a pleasant environment conducive for eating. Consider patient's food choices for meal planning. Administer prescribed medications and monitor for their effectiveness after 30 minutes. Refer to community dietitian upon consent for evaluation. Encourage small frequent feedings and snacks. Instruct to communicate with GP and district nursing team if symptoms persist or condition changes. If your given scenario is about subdural hematoma, you should be very careful when you are writing the nursing intervention. We will tell you why. You have to do GCS assessment for the patient, and there is a specific way about the frequency of your assessment, which we will explain to you. Usually, if a neurological condition is given, for example, like subdural hematoma, you can potentially identify two nursing problems. They are. If you have identified pain, especially headache in the subdural hematoma scenario, you need to write the news assessment intervention along with GCS assessment. News monitoring intervention should be specifically written as follows. Monitor and record patient's vital signs, including neurological observations, every as per News 2 score, according to News 2 policy. Then write. If GCS 15, monitor every 30 minutes for the first two hours, every hour for the next for four hours, and every two hours thereafter, until stable, and GCS maintains to 15 by 15, and escalate as per News policy. Observe for signs of deterioration. If GCS 14 and below, monitor every 30 minutes until stable and GCS reaches to 15 by 15 and escalate as per news policy. Observe for signs of deterioration. This is very important. Candidates have failed just because they didn't write this intervention as specified. Along with this, you need to also write about assessing patient's pain location, radiation and intensity using 010 pain scale, utilizing pain assessment tool. Teach alternative pain management, such as diversional activities, deep breathing exercises, and relaxation techniques. Assess patient's skin integrity, specifically the moisture lesion on his sacrum area, using Waterloo assessment tool. 
administer to prescribed medications and monitor for their effectiveness after 30 minutes. Refer to pain management team upon consent as needed. Also, in subdural hematoma scenario, one of the other problem you have identified can be risk for deterioration. Then you need to rewrite the same intervention for news to assessment as given above, including the one GCS monitoring, exactly the same. Along with which you can add, assess for signs of deterioration, such as restlessness, irritability, and lethargy, and escalate as needed. Provide a safe and clutter-free environment, and orient him to time, person and place, and leave a written reminder on his bedside. Assess patient's skin integrity, specifically the moisture lesion on his sacrum area, using Waterloo assessment tool. Administer prescribed medications and monitor for their effectiveness after 30 minutes. Refer to the medical team for further management upon consent as needed. If you remember the Atronum Imatarid and also a few bits explained in this video, we believe planning station won't be an issue for your NMC OS. Do remember to practice yourself by writing interventions as bullet points in the NMC specified answer sheet within the time limit of 14 minutes. You can now buy our OS guide from Amazon for which you need to search NMC OS for Ovaries Nurses, written by Loveland Joshi. You can also visit our website www.ossatrainer.com for free articles and how to guides for NMC OS. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.